Hello, my name's Robbie Steinhaus and thank you very much for taking this coaching program. I'm going to start by telling you a little bit about myself and also a little bit about the program. Now, firstly, about myself. Well, my experience was that I studied maths and computing at university. I went on, got a couple of jobs, uh, but then in my sort of mid-twenties, I decided to set up my own business. And by the time I was in my mid-thirties, something like that, I had quite a successful business. I was employing about eight, nine people, and things were beginning to, I, I think I was getting overwhelmed. I didn't really have the skills, uh, because it was my own business, I had never had any sort of in-house training. So I suddenly started investing in, in training. I thought, I've got to learn things. I just don't know what I'm doing. So the first things I started to do was learn around time management. I became very interested in Stephen Covey's uh, principles of seven habits. And then after that, uh, that led me into uh, coaching and also into NLP. So what I found as I continued my journey that the business grew to a point where I thought, OK, I can appoint a management team to run the business and I'm going to spend most of my time now teaching NLP and doing coaching. So that was about 2000, about 20 years ago that I made that shift. And so I was simultaneously owning a business, but I was also teaching and coaching within organizations. The business continued to grow. And what I discovered was that not only was I teaching and coaching in businesses, but I also was a, a user. In other words, I paid for coaches to come into the business, to coach my directors, to coach me, to have team coaching. So I began to see from the other side of the fence the benefits of coaching, not just being the kind of supplier, but also the user. And I think from those two perspectives, it gave me something different, uh, different to other coaches. And I think that probably is the difference between me and other coaches is having that opportunity to being able to really use coaching actively. I will say the positive story was that the business continued to grow until it came to a point uh, about two years ago that I sold it and I'm now fully focused on teaching NLP and coaching. So that's a little bit about me. And now a little bit about why should you do this? Well, I've got four reasons. Firstly, you simply would like to learn to become a coach. Uh, and I think this program will give you all that you need to start a coaching practice. It involves uh, contracting, which is the kind of agreement you make with the client, goal coaching, how to deal with limiting beliefs, looking at purpose, looking at values and looking at roles. So it's just for me a kind of comprehensive coaching package. I'd say it's almost effectively all that you need. Once you kind of learn this uh, material, you can expand it a little bit, you can add to it obviously, but I think this is the basis of what you need to do to become a, a professional coach. Secondly, if you're already qualified in NLP, uh, my experience of teaching NLP is that the people who can be very good at doing these quite deep and complex processes haven't had the opportunity to learn a formal type of practice so that they can go into a client's house or office or wherever it is and bring with them some piece of paper and contracts and agreements and, and explain everything. So often that part of the kind of professionalized aspect of NLP is missing. So if you already are qualified in NLP and you say, I'd like to be able to use this professionally, I believe this program, by the end of it, you will have all that you require to start professionally coaching. Thirdly, if you are already a coach and you're less familiar with NLP, I think you will find in this program an opportunity to learn how NLP embeds into coaching um, and some NLP coaching uh, processes. Most of the process I'm doing are NLP coaching processes. So I think it's an excellent opportunity for a coach to learn how to use NLP. But also the coaching itself, depending on your own training. I trained as an ICF certified coach. I've spent many years, uh, in fact 15 years now, working with a uh, coaching supervisor, a master coach, uh, and also a coaching supervisor with the ICF, which is the International Coaching Federation. What that means is I've had the opportunity to really work very closely with my supervisor, who's one of uh, the top coaches in the country, looking at the content of this course, making sure that every aspect of it is detailed and precise and highly professional and used in business and organizations today, as well as with private clients. So I think that you will also receive, if you are a coach, a, a, 
a highly professional coach training as well as more details on how to use NLP. Lastly, what about just you don't want to coach anyone, you just want to get coaching and learn a coaching approach. I've designed this program in such a way that you don't have to know anything about NLP or coaching. You can just jump in and you effectively will be receiving very detailed coaching. In some senses, it will be a very inexpensive form of coaching. And I think when you watch the videos and you watch the example coaching sessions, you'll be able to apply the material to yourself. Also, by the end of it, if you do the exercises and so forth, you will have received vicariously quite a lot of coaching because people coach themselves when they watch coaching demonstrations. Once you've learned a coaching approach, I found that to me to be invaluable. I said earlier that in my business career, I had the fortune to be able to employ some very, very competent people. And what I found is that they did not want to be managed in a traditional sense. If they came them do this, do that, do the other, they get very irritated. Because what I found is if you want to be able to manage or lead highly competent people, they actually really want to be coached. Classic example, they come into a room, they say, I have a problem. You say, what is it? They tell you the problem. You'd say, listen. And then you'd say, okay, well, what do you think you could do about that? They then list a plan, which usually seems very sensible. And you say, that sounds very good. And they say, thank you very much. And off they go. In some senses, all they really want from you as a manager is a sounding board, a coach, somebody who can um, listen and help them develop their own ideas. Obviously, you will get involved in some of those ideas too, but I think being able to do that really made a difference, enabled me to run you know, a, a much bigger business. So that's managing with the coaching approach. I think it also applies to parenting, to friendships, to relationships. It is a useful skill to learn. So I hope you enjoy the program. Thank you very much.